This is Jay from Haltom City, Texas, two-time Texas Outlaw Fantasy Football Champion, and you're listening to Strikeout Beer with my guys, Alan and Rapid Dave. Hi, and welcome to Strikeout Beer, your least favorite podcast. Can I say balls? Today yes. on the show, the guys will be talking about... Natural Desires. <laughs> this is the Rapid Dave show. Jesus, I looked fat on camera. <laughs> but that's the game. That's the game. Dun, 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 dun. Here comes FIFA Dave. He's not bad. He's not good. He's not horrible. Stop them. And without further ado, here's your host, Alan. This is what I was talking about. This is what I was talking about. See, I'm not crazy. I know what I'm talking about. And Rapid Dave. But, um... What is it? The, the the card game of go around a circle reverses and skips and stuff like that. And everyone goes crazy. Wah! And we're live. Welcome to Late Night Beer Reviews with your pals, Alan and Rapid Dave. I'm Alan. I'm Rapid Dave. Dude, how much fun was Hinton last episode? A lot of stories. You know, he's got a lot of stuff going on. He's, he's got his hand in everything. Like he said, master... Uh, Jack of all trades, master of none. Mm-hmm. The dude, he, he almost kind of reminds me of uh, Nathan for you that show. Oh, like, so he Man, creates a wh- he show. creates a whiskey, but in order to advertise the whiskey, he's creating a comic book. Well, he creates a comic book. Well, he needs a way to ship the comics, so now he creates a box to create it out to ship them out of and all that. So just a lot of extra stuff. There's there's a lot there's a lot going on. I didn't realize we're going to have uh, this guest on so early in the show. He's going to sit back and he's going to wait for a little bit. So just hang out for a little bit, buddy. Uh, What we got? We got old school in the house. What's up? Jason back here. What's up, Jason? Hey, thanks for tuning in last episode. Mm -hmm. The the thing that, first of all, I love having a guest on, Mm -hmm. but the thing that kind of sucks about is we don't get to interact as much, right? We're big Uh, interactors. And we love to. Uh, TJ coming in with great guest. Mark. Red Mercury's back in the house. I got I got to specify. We used to call Red Mercury Merc, but then Merc showed up. So yeah. You have to. But uh, God, we had a great time. What are you gonna do? We've uh while we still have a lot of whiskey left, we're gonna move on to the beer. We pulled it up. It's a late night beer review. I, I did ask you if you wanted to continue. I was like, if you want to keep going, I'm fine because I, I feel okay. I think we we I, were moving at a quick pace. That bottle's almost gone. I we drank two thirds. We shared of it, it, and we did, and it wasn't too bad. And we, you know, we paced ourselves more than two thirds. Uh, Jason, what are you drinking? Jason says he's drinking some cold beer right now. Oh, by the way, we forgot to mention oh, while man. we had him on. Yeah, tomorrow is Cletus's birthday. Cletus Henson, the cat of Michael Henson. Mm-hmm. It's his birthday tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm watching. What's up, Fran? Hey, Francis, if you can get out to your car and turn on. Your I'm going to send it to you just in case. Okay. And Sounds if like you, we need and a if what's going can, on in front of Rapid Dave's house right now. It's too dark. Yeah. But you know what? You know what I can get you? Hold on one second. Okay. Just in case, Francis. Guys, everybody loved it so much last week. We're bringing it back. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. Oh, crap. I didn't change the name of it. It still says it's Yard Cam. Oh, but at least it doesn't say BF or 3000. It's the sock cam is back. What's up? We added some lighting back there this week because it was kind of dark come late night beer review. Yeah. But here we go. We got the socks going on. <laughs> it's um, going to create a new damn carrier service. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the next thing. We got to get these damn shipments out quicker, Bill. They're not getting out <laughs> fast enough. <laughs> land shark. I do like land shark. There we go. Yeah. Uh, is, what's there, that? is that I'm another... drinking Voodoo Ranger IPA, Red Mercury. You get that out there in Australia? All right. Billy Joe, that's not another dick on our board. That is the dick from last league. Give me that old yeah. dick. No, I want the. I don't want new dick. I want that old dick. Philly, make sure you, you uncheck the notify button and check it again. Then what? Because. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm, I'll I'm, be I'm honest. sorry you didn't get it. Yeah, I don't know either. But we're going to head and crack one of these. What the hell is that? Oh, you got it hey, over there? All yeah. Right, cool. And oh, guys. Hell? Oh, it's right here. Sorry. Okay. Not only are you getting the sock cam this episode, we're going to go ahead and bring to you. It's not late night beer review. Let me go ahead and remove this because we want this full force. It's late night glitter pool. <laughs> 
Everyone is making a stop in. You wouldn't believe this stuff, the, the messages and requests that we get from people, you know, but we, we entertain most. We're like, hey, you know what? Why not? We're, we're here to have fun. Yep. That's what we're doing. But yeah, you got the late night glitter pool going in full effect. They're front and center right now. Like they are, who knows what's going to happen with them tonight? Keep your shirts on tonight. My eyes are still burning. All right. Billy I'll Joe. see what we can do, sir. I'll see what we can do. All right. We're going to go ahead and flip out. Let's get away from, uh, we're going to talk about the beer. And then we're going to bring in our uh, guest right now, <clears throat> Mr. Dylan Moran. So we're having Sierra Nevada summer break session. Hazy IPA. This is a 4.6% alcohol by volume. That's because it's a session beer. I got into an argument with someone about session beer over the weekend. Okay, like, tell us like, about it. I go session beers are they're made for low ABV. They're a table beer, right? I mean, they're session beers. They're for day drinking and things like that. And they're like, well, all the session beers around here. Well, speaking of which, there he is. That's who I was like trying to explain what a session beer was. What are you doing? Um, I just I changed the name. So anyhow, but that's what it is. You're streaming from a bank. How many cams you got in the store? I got a ton. dude. I've so got. Many. I actually was gonna fire up the uh, my wise cams because we were gonna do what is Lizzie watching, but Lizzie's no, working right now. She's, she's working. She jumped back on to. They got some project going on. So, anyways, we're having a little summer break session. Hazy, it's absolutely phenomenal. Like right out of, I mean, it it hits you right in the mouth, and you're like, dude, I'm so excited for summer. Like I'm so excited, guys. I'm a blackberry fan, but most of the tasty blackberry beer out of here, guys, have had. Uh, I know Boulevard. Bull, okay, yeah. Boulevard, Boulevard has a blackberry. That's pretty good. Yeah. What, what Mark here? Uh, I just sent the Discord, but thank you, gentlemen, for the merch. It's awesome. Hey, no, Mark, thank you, thank pew, you, pew, buddy. Pew, pew, pew. Hey, man. Oh God, that spelling. Take it easy, will you? Philly, it's so good to see you in here. Billy Joe, you too. <coughs> love seeing these familiar faces come through. There's Jimmy. I always love seeing Jimmy in the chat. I don't know why, because um, he was like captain of kick me in the yep. kick me in the pants. So give us a comp to this beer. What are you thinking? I mean, it's a, it's a light, hazy IPA. I don't even know if there's another beer out there like it, but it's a light, hazy IPA. Typically, with your hazy IPAs, you get a little bit higher on the ABV mm -hmm. scale. This one's only 4.6%. That's why it's um, a session beer. It's a, it's, a, um, it's a summer beer. This is a chill out by your pool. You know, with it being you're, a session. You're, you're going to be right there by the pool with these guys, <laughs> hanging out, just sipping on it, having a good time. Yes, Boulevard from uh, Kansas City. Yep. We used to rock that 12 pack that they had. We get trash and just hang out in the pool all night. Um, it's less hazy, I would say. Like somehow yeah, they took the haze out of it, and that's what that's how it actually took like it almost like less sugar, less whatever it's it is. It's not as clear as a lager, mm -hmm. but it's not as hazy as your normal hazy. It's kind of somewhere in between. Exactly. That's where I'm having it right now. So I don't want to keep him waiting. He looks like he's okay. just so grumpy sitting back there. So before we bring our guest on, look at him. Looks like he fell asleep. There he is. He might have um that damn wig guys if you if you've been following us for any amount of time thank you abv alcohol by volume yes alcohol by volume 4.6 um we have strikeout beer uh we used to have don't be an ass we've got rapid Dave streams we got part-time nerd and we have the team having fun page uh team having fun that's just something that we have we created years ago to share memes and things like that we weren't that active for a little while but then we've picked it up over the last for most playing softball just months, getting SC right? out there um people are complaining we're like look dude we're just here to have fun we're on team having fun that's what's going on well team having fun has been me and rapid dave well we are expanding the team having fun family it is growing by two people mm -hmm. um oh geez um <laughs> one of those people can't join us tonight because he's stuck at work uh the third member of team having fun is going to be I, I'm sure you guys can guess it. It's Mr. Ryan Francis, right? Mm -hmm. There's no secret there. He's become a huge part of the show. We absolutely lo love Ryan. Let's do a podcast. He's been on the. He was on the show with you Ooh, Sunday. Spicy Bond's good. Um, oh yeah, it's, it's tasty beer. Um, but yeah, so that's the third member. The fourth member of Team Having Fun is behind stage right now, getting ready to join us, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Get your dollar bills ready and welcome the most spectacular head of hair that you've seen this side of the Mississippi, Mr. Dylan Moran. <laughs> <laughs> he's got it, that, it, uh, that, that one. Yeah, yeah, he's got that whatever he's got on. His, but it's like a huge banana hammock. Yeah. Oh, it's banana. It's banana hammock. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Nailed it. 
So you might be asking why we expanded team having fun. Well, because because it's more fun. We're kind of we're, we're sick of each other, right? Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's Borat. Th- we we've got this group of of four guys that have yes, it's definitely the Borat bikini. <laughs> I can stand up whenever you want. It's just a matter. Oh, of no, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. All right. Um, are you drinking anything right now? By the way, water. God bless. Okay. I mean, I'm still, I'm still getting over my sickness. So you, you come on the, the strikeout beer late night beer review and you bring that water. <laughs> um, <laughs> fake, got fake cough. Fake. That was fake. There you go. I got this down here. Oh Jesus. Take All right, take a drink. T- take a couple nips That's off gonna that help. thing. That's going to help uh, you. Take a drink real quick before we it's announce just it. Come rum. on. It's not Come like on. it's like tequila or whiskey or anything. Right. I just prefer tequila over just everything. Just take a what? Sweat. Really? Yeah. I Fuck. love tequila. What? There we go. I've never heard of anyone in my life ever say Dude, that. I love some Tito's. <laughs> Tito's is good stuff. There you go. That'll, that'll put some hair on your so, chest. I got plenty of that already. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Billy Joe wants to know, have you seen Bubba Hotep? What the fuck is a Bubba Hotep? It's, it's a movie. It's a movie. It's a movie. No, I have not. I have okay. no idea what that is. Uh, he has not. We need you to watch it anyways, because we yeah. watch it for the show. All right. It's weird, but you'll like it. Yeah, you just, just send me like a, like a list of movies I need to watch. Cause I feel like I'm, I'm missing a lot of them. You gotta watch like wedding crashers and shit. I've so never seen that. Either, you know either. what? Here's what we'll do. Uh huh. Because we've got the segment going on with Darren right now. Bubba hopes that's a top 10 movie. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> now I know you're crazy. A top 10 Bruce Campbell movie? I'll give okay. You that. Yeah. yeah. I can take care of the list. <laughs> oh, Billy Joe's like, I'll take care of it. Don't worry. So we, we have the segment with Darren that we're doing every two weeks, it looks like, uh-huh. where we're reviewing a Fast and the Furious movie. Uh-huh. What if we shoehorn in on those weeks where Darren's not on? Movies with a millennial. Ooh. Or we watch a movie that... Dylan needs to see. Was it step? It was a bunch of like uh, Step Brothers or uh, Wedding Crashers or a couple other movies like that. Have you seen My Cousin Vinny? No. Jesus H. Christ. <laughs> Brian just lost all of his shit. Dude, he, right I'm now. surprised he didn't just uninstall. He, and just, break his ta- phone. he just tossed his phone <laughs> across the room. He, he kicked that dog because that's all he does is kick that dog oh over my there. Oh, God. Um, it's the only reason why he got a dog. The two, the two <laughs> utes. utes. The two utes. Well, Dylan, but, you're here. Go ahead. We are we are excited to announce here in the next few weeks we will be launching the Team Having Fun podcast. Yeah, yeah, sir, yeah, yeah. What is the Team Having Fun podcast exactly? We're not oh quite God. sure either. None of us know. We came up with that idea. We've been wanting to do more with the Team Having Fun page. Mm-hmm. Rapper Dave looked at me today. We were both sitting. We were both taking a crap. He's got a... <laughs> In his bathroom here, he's two got toilets, toilets facing toilets each other. Each other, right? Nice. Um, and that's where we do our pre-show stuff at, where we get ready for the show and things like that. And so we're both sitting there. I mean, just really pinching a log off, like really struggling with it, right? Yeah. And he looks. I gotta up, get those installed. Send me goes, your contractor's name. <laughs> uh, team having fun podcast. I go in. In. Oh, I'm in. Jesus. Um. And what it's gonna be? It's gonna be. It's not gonna be a live one. This is going to be a recorded um, podcast that we're going to do. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. It's going to be. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, I didn't know. It's going to be 30 minutes that's when we go live. Um, of us talking about whatever the hell we want to talk about. And we'll, each person is taking their own. They'll, they'll host well, the show. The first four weeks, we might take every week we change. We'll see how it kind of goes. Maybe mm-hmm. someone doesn't have anything that week and someone else has something. Or maybe there's a topic that's. Um, top of mind that week that we yep. need to make sure we talk about. Yep. Uh, but yeah, we'll take turns all doing the show and things like that. But it's going to be Rapid Dave, me, Dylan, and Ryan Francis. Yep. And we're going to, who knows how often we're going to come out with it. It's going to be a weekly, a bi weekly. We're still working on figuring that out. We'll get all that worked out, but it's coming up here in the next few weeks. Yeah, looking forward to it. It's you know, just a round table fun with the, the guys right. we talk to every single day. Anyways, we all talk to each other every day. Some of the conversations might as well just record day. some of that shit instead of just letting it go to waste. Right. I'm telling you. I mean, I'm some of the things we talked about in that chat is just it's it's cold. Fun, right. Mm-hmm. So we just decided, Hey, let's, let's just bring it to the table. So we'll get it out there. It's going to be everywhere. You can listen to your podcast that we'll get that out there. Let you guys start hearing it. And just, hey, we're just going to have some fun. 
Team having fun or SHS? This is team having fun. Yeah. yeah. I think episode one was prostate health and the benefits of pegging. Was that episode <laughs> one? Uh, it was what, pegging and the what was it? The, the, the negative uh, effects. Effects of pegging. oh, we're going yeah. negative route yeah, on yeah, that. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, old school. Yeah, no, we're. We're still all part of SHS, but this is yeah, this is team having fun. This is OG stuff. This is this THS is the real stuff. team having fun. Yeah, um, yeah, not the imitators. Uh, have you seen Highlander, Dylan? It's a TV show. Oh, it's a movie. No. Two. There can oh. only be one. Okay, I I haven't watched either. Um, we also put out a chicken sandwich wars sample, mm. uh, different chicken sandwich to eat each week. Give people a review. Yeah, this is all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I even posted the 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 chicken sandwich thing like two days ago. Yeah. So it's going to be a lot of stuff. Yeah, there you go. What's up, Philly? Cheers to that, pal. Mazel, mazel, good things. Yes, sir. Yeah, no, we, uh, it's been a, it's been a long time. We yep. started that a little bit. But like I said, it's going to be more of a round table. It's going to be more, that's what we're bringing in two extra people, bringing in people that we communicate with on a daily basis and just have a nice little round table discussion. And it's going it, to, it might be 15 to 20 minutes. It could be 30 minutes. Yeah. But we're not we're not going all night. It's it's something that just kind of have we're gonna have fun with. You know, obviously Dylan from On and Off the Field and Green Man Streaming. We're have uh Ryan Francis from Let's Do a Podcast and a logical gaming. Yeah. You know, your part Dylan, Dylan's just on until we can get Durf in, but once we get Durf right. in, we, be, he'll, he'll, he'll throw him in there. Dylan's gone. Yeah, but we're working on that still. We're team Durf uh, forever. We're dude. we're we're aggressive in contract negotiations right now with the uh, Durf and uh once that get works out, we'll bring him in. I'm trying to find a guy that he's was a hard head. bargainer. That guy he, will, dude. He'll go he to the table a value. few times. That's the problem. He knows his value. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Are you not streaming tonight? I'm surprised you're not on. Well, always- I was watching some TV, and then I was thinking about streaming, and then you guys told me to get on here. So then I was just like, yeah, I guess we'll just do this then. Maybe I'll stream after I get off here. But okay, you should get to be seen for someone else to raid after our. Mm. Show. Stream. What should I be playing tonight? More Fable, or what are you going to get into? GTA. I don't know. GTA. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll play nine holes. Dude, we <laughs> log in to play Grand Theft Auto. To play golf on Grand Theft Auto. And we Auto. go play damn golf. Yeah. And uh, we hit the tables first. <laughs> Obviously. Got to go hit the tables first. <laughs> hit the tables first, then we play nine Red holes. Red 14. And what's the other stuff that we. Oh, so I brought this up. I go, I want to find Doom. You, I you wa- kill I, prostitutes. I want to and- play. I want to play Doom. I think we all should get on there and play Doom and have some fun. We're we're obviously looking for other games to play because right right now we're just burnt out on Fortnite. Right, you know we're I play Rocket League most of the time when I have free time. We play GTA. We play a little bit. Maybe you can flip over to Apex. Maybe we need to play more Apex or mm, okay. Apex. Yeah. So I'm getting ready to stream some single player type games. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start streaming some of the the Avengers. I started playing that recently, mm-hmm. and then the uh, the other game I want to play. I just bought it for like seven bucks at Walmart. Uh, Destroy all humans. Mm. I'll, I'll play that. I found that for the for the PS4. It's something I I played it back on the PS2 and had a blast with it. Really? Um, and okay. Yeah. Any new games coming up for you, Dylan? Uh, anything on the horizon that you uh, have already kind of spotted? Oh Jesus! I, I I can go through my Steam wish list. You don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> well, What's I just I want to play so many things. I got Elder Scrolls Online in here. Uh, the new Shadow. It's not new anymore, but it was the new Shadow War game from the Middle Earth game. Um, okay. Fallout 4 I put on here, and then the, all, the Fallout New Vegas. I got Halo Master Chief Collection in here. I got Fall Guys in here. And I can oh, go over to my nice. Epic Games, and I got all kind. I got Frostpunk, Jensen Impact, NBA 2K, Smite. I got all kinds of things. That I'm just trying to decide which one I want to play next. I see we get in some Fall Guys. Uh, I'll download that again. I think it's on my PlayStation, but I'm going to move it over here. I might have to pay for it now because it's not free anymore. Yeah. But yeah, it's, like, it's like ten bucks in my Steam store, I think. Yeah, and I I, downloaded... I just picked up Fallout Four. I think it is. I got it at Walmart for like five bucks on the PS4. We're talking Fall Guys. He said Fallout as well. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, they're both in there. I got a, and there's more in there that I want to add too. I just got to find them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then we paid like five or six bucks for GTA. Yeah. So we're super excited. So who's going to be the first one brave enough to stream the mowing grass simulator? That the, how do I even get that? Where is that, that? thing? Is lit. I'm gonna uh, love me some fast. See, we might need to wear, play a scary game because I'm gonna lose my shit. Like I'm gonna sit here like scared out of my mind. Who is it? Hate that. Hate plays get, a lot. She gets scared if you you come in there, you drop a follow, or you a give it a a host, mm-hmm. and she jumps 
every time. Leisure Suit Larry. My anybody God. down? That's old school to old school right there. I got the game for free when I worked at EB Games really? for the PC. Yeah. It's it's interesting. It, it definitely when someone brought it up the other day and I looked into it, I go, holy shit, I used to play this game. Like my dad had it on his computer or whatever. And, and do I'm, you know what that is, Dylan? No. You're you're a dude that wears a leisure suit just trying to get laid. <laughs> <laughs> right up your alley, right? <laughs> that's it right there. That's that's the game. <laughs> that's how it goes, man. So apparently lawn mowing simulator is not available in the Steam store. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm gonna have to do some research on how to download that. I've thought about getting the the truck simulator and then the uh the flight simulator because old what about school, the farming simulator. If we can get a shout out for old school <laughs> Like he he does his flight simulators and that's like the most fun that we usually have for like three hours. Oh yeah, we'll sit there and raise a bunch of hell in the chat. Oh, he made it like an event too, though. Like get your yeah. seats and shit. Like he did he a great job early. of running yeah. that. Yeah, dude, I used to love those things. Romley would be in there causing a, a, a stir, but I don't know if I want to. I, I want to do the, the the trucking simulator thing, but I I gotta get a damn wheel and then what? You know what I'm saying? It just seems like me buying more shit. Well, you just gotta start first, right? Yeah, yeah. And then go from there. What about farming simulator? No, I'm not on that. What if I if I bought a farming simulator game for the PS4 for you? Would you stream it? Well, that's on my PS4. Then I need a capture card. I have a uh, I have a PC. Okay. Yeah. And why, not to be, you know, are you just sitting there driving around on a tractor? I don't know what. I've seen details. people just drive tractors. I don't know, man. I, mean, I think that's what all those games are, though. You drive an 18 wheeler. You drive a tractor. Drive a lawnmower. One chick that drives an eighteen wheeler, and you know, I'll tell you what. I'm upset. I didn't pick this game up back when I could find it for real cheap uh, at Walmart. Because I, I asked you, I said, "Hey, if I buy this for you, will you stream it?" It's B something. It, B it, simulator. It's B simulator. Yeah. B. <laughs> Guarantee it. <laughs> and it's you're you're a bee, and it's <laughs> flying around as a bee. The, the the honey, you know, the beehive, and all Trying that. Trying to seduce yeah. the queen. I, I, maybe strut. Yeah, strutting a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Maybe someone's coming at you hard and you'd be like, you know what? I gotta sting you. <laughs> yeah, you. gotta go sting you. Bro. Wrong neighborhood, bro. Oh you can drive me like an 18 wheeler on Jesus Christ. <laughs> the sim isn't at the point. Yeah. We'll check Ooh, out boat simulator. Yeah. Boat that's another simulator. One. What is that? I haven't even heard of that one. I don't know. I'm in though. A B, that's crazy. But yeah, we've been we've been actually just playing a bunch of different games and just having some fun. Um, let's yes, see, old school beer brewery simulator. We're actually going to be doing a live. We're, we're brewing a beer with a local brewery, uh, Brutal Beer Works. They actually just hit us up again today, and we're going to go through the process. They they wanted to have a beer. They're going to name it after our. Uh, they were like, it's going to be called your least favorite beer. Yeah, they were like, you get to pick the name, Ooh. you get to pick the type of beer. It's going to be. It's going to have your logo or whatever you want on there. So we're going to talk with a couple local artists. Um, and then we get to pick our beer. Do it? Does it want to be a lager, a pilsner, an IPA, something like that? And we'll just go from and there. And we're going to donate all the proceeds to a local charity. Yep. So we're going to look up some local charities here in the area. We got to let's take a drink. You got it. Brutal makes a good pilsner. Yes, Bet your ass they do. Ooh wee. That was my. I think that was my favorite one that you guys sent up. So oh, good they man. heard about it up in uh, upstate New York, right? That's yeah. What what was that one he was sitting there telling uh, i think uh, whiskey pro hit him up tj was like hey man i need your secret on how to ship beer <laughs> so whiskey hits me lots up. lots of hey. fucking bubble wrap he, he goes he hits me up he goes hey i need to know what you do to ship beer i gotta send a beer to dylan busby uh who's in philly right dylan's in the philly area yeah yeah, yeah. No, uh, no, augusta georgia augusta, georgia, georgia okay yeah. and he, oh. he does the uh podcast with him let's, let's just be a dad and I told him, I go, well, you, you put it in a box. You, you put it in a box step, and you ship it. Step one, step that shit in the um, box. <laughs> make sure it's packaged well and all that. And then when you go to the post office, they're going to ask you, is there anything liquid or perishable in there? And then you lie to them and say no. Yeah. <laughs> and then they ship it. When so, I sent that beer to you guys, they said what was in it. I said Christmas ornaments. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was a huge box. That's a lot of damn Christmas yeah. ornaments. Yeah, I told her there was like a nutcracker in there, like all this big shit. Yeah. Christmas and Hanukkah <laughs> gifts. <laughs> they ask me all the time. I'm like, yeah, what's what is is there anything? Nope. Nope. And then like one time the lady, I think it might even been when I sent you the beer, she grabbed it and she went like this and moved it. And she <laughs> you could kind of hear the beer. Like, and then I saw her go like this. She goes, and she goes, What's in there? I go, snow globes. <laughs> I think that that's what I told. That's why I went with Christmas ornaments because if she 
question the liquid i could say snow globe that's yeah. the exact reason i went with it you guys are geniuses look at that you guys are like living in 3000 i'm like stuck here in 2021 <laughs> hopefully no from the post office is listening right now i don't yeah. think they're very i don't just, think just one got out. blacklisted right here i'm gonna go to the ups store next time they're gonna be like nope just get one, out I, one i don't think they listen to podcasts too i don't really think they're really you don't think any anybody of, at the post office listens to a podcast those people are just like that is the, the most dumbest of dumb absurd claim i've I, ever heard <laughs> When you walk in there and you look at these people, you think that they listen to a podcast or do like, I don't know, anything like I'd be willing to bet they just have the same music they play in the post office. Like it's just elevator music. That's what yeah, they listen to all the time. Pay love going the whole fucking yeah. time. So here's what I want to do. The next time <laughs> I go to the post office, simulator. <laughs> I'm gonna I'll, I'll put my phone on just like voice record or whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna ask the person checking me out, hey. Just, just curious. Do you listen to any podcast? She's gonna go. What's a, what's a podcast? My <laughs> <laughs> <Why? laughs> Sound like trails. I don't know how things are in North. Hey, just take a drink. Drug watch that one down. Simulator. It's on the Steam. <laughs> so you can get Drug Dealer Simulator. So someone needs to get that and stream that. Let me let me um, look it up right now. Find it. Uh, Jimmy told us it was there. <laughs> Snow glows um, are oh my god, it really is there. It's fourteen why, dollars though. Why is the person Asian at the post office? At mine, they're Asian. What's wrong uh, okay. with that? So I understand out here in the ghetto where you got mattresses out by the curb and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, like it's not. It's it's it's. So we're very diverse here. Are you? Oh, absolutely. Especially Let's see what's going office. on down here. Oh, yeah, the sock we got the sock cam going on. Yeah, yeah I was going to say the sock cam and the glitter pool at night so, cam. Absolute just so goddamn brilliance. Do you know who's on my socks? It's too far away. You can't see that. Yeah, it's a little distorted from that. Angle. Oh, it's the guy from. Oh, shit. What's his name? Oh, let me see if I can make him big screen. It's Hold not on. Rocco, is it? Hold on, Dylan. It is. Is it Rocco? Ro yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I'm surprised you knew that. Cartoons were my shit when I was a kid. I, I can do a okay. lot of cartoons. All right. Well, next time on Millennials Don't Know Shit, we'll do cartoon version. Cool. <laughs> Granny Let's Simulator is more affordable. What? What is Granny Simulator? Oh, God. Oh, I think I've seen someone stream that before, actually. Wait, podcast is that where you ship snow globes? I mean, we do here. Wait, Gra found Granny Simulator. simulator is all. Okay, apparently, Jimmy found the simulator. What is it, Jimmy? Oh, God. It's 250 Two dollars and fifty cents. This is actually, yeah, you're like a granny. You just and there's like a baby. I just watched the preview and a baby just chucked a bottle at the granny's head and knocked <laughs> her over. Whoa! Cold simulator. What in the hell am I looking at? <laughs> Why do these things exist? I think the granny just tases the kid. I'm like ninety, and the granny just booted him across the floor. Like, so, so Dylan, go ahead and hit that download button right now. This is insanity. That's what you need the stream tonight. I would say so. Yeah. And we'll throw you a raid when we're done. Oh my god, it's but tooth. only if only if you're streaming Granny Simulator. We're gonna look, and if it's not Granny Simulator, we're out. Yo. This is insanity. Um old school Nickelodeon cartoons. Give me a little cat dog. Yeah. Loved cat dog. Ren and Stimpy. Mm -hmm. Ren and Stimpy back in the day was oh, it was ahead of its time. It was. I love cat dog was that's just perfection was cat dog. There is a coming out here shortly. I think it's going to be on Netflix. Is going to be a Courage the Cowardly Dog movie. Oh, nice. Courage. Oh, I think I, there was a crossover too. I think there was it a Scooby Doo crossover they were doing with that. It too? might be. Yeah, that might be what it is with Scooby Doo. But yeah. But Dylan probably does need a beer. There's two of them. Next. There's a dragon next to a beer. Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold. Oh. Another group. We've been watching Hey Arnold with the uh, with the daughter. We've been putting Hey, Ar hey Arnold on. Well, we good. Been Watching a lot of recess lately. Yeah, I can't Ooh, go wrong with recess. Recess, that's a classic. Mm -hmm. So good. So let, let me give you, uh, let's go ahead and throw this out here. I have an idea for something that could be an episode on the Team Having Fun podcast. So we got three okay. of us here right now. Uh -huh. And what it is, let me throw this hypothetical out there for you. Right. I'm excited. Right. Clearly. Would you rather? Find ten dollars cash on the ground, or your local WNBA team win a championship. 
I'm going to say I hope the local WNBA championship or wins the championship. Yes. Are you sure that's what you want? Let's, let, tell, tell us the truth. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy says $5. <laughs> <laughs> Ten dollars cash, thanks. <laughs> Ten dollars, Francis Cash. Take a drink. Uh, just, I, just buy me a drink. I would like the Dallas Wings to win a championship. Oh, point, point, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> they just had like five first round picks this last year. Jason, give me ten. <laughs> well, you say local. Can we change that to at least the Seattle Storm? And then hey, maybe hey, I'll take the I'll guy, take them. Whatever whatever you choose to support. This, guy. this guy up in upstate New York who doesn't <laughs> want to support anyone in New York. He wants to support all Seattle. All these New York teams suck. I hate them all. God. So okay, so the Seattle what? Seattle Storm. Okay, yeah. so the Seattle Storm. So for you want the Seattle Storm or ten dollars cash? I'll I'll take the Seattle Storm, but since I know they're gonna win because of this bet, I'll just place a bunch of money. With Vegas for them to win the title, and so I'll make here, more than ten dollars. Well then here's the question for you: This is a, a <laughs> well, they. Oh my God! I watched bocce ball tournament before that. Listen, a bocce if, ball if, tournament. This is something that you should have brought to my attention beforehand, but now I'm starting to realize what is going on. So they win the championship, and then they beat your ass down into a nub. Saying they want like you know LeBron money for each of them because they just want a championship. They don't want that LeBron James money. I'll take the ten dollars at that point. I'm out. Oh, because then you got to hear about it. You got to hear about that shit for like there are 45 fans they got in the stands. <laughs> you know, I gotta I gotta listen to that shit for like the next year. Ugh, I'm out. Give me the ten bucks. Fuck, it, make it five. Yeah, just make like it, uh, it, just you like Jimmy said. Hold on, hold on. Just give me five. Yeah. I don't. You you keep the other five. We split the difference. It, it's good to go. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I just agree. take the ten dollars and return it to the previous owner just for the good karma. There just you, go. The there karma. you <laughs> go. Yeah, I just I can't deal with the 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 shit that comes from that kind of thing. You know what I mean? It's just gonna be a headache. It's gonna give me a headache. Oh, hold hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm right. This down for shit I don't care about. Oh man. If Francis uh, doesn't, hey, if hold Francis on, hold on. Name a current Dallas wing and where they play. You could probably use that <laughs> pen to get courtside seats. Nice. I can't name one. They did just have like the first and the nice. third and like the sixth pick. Yeah, they um, had like a ton. Because they had so Corby and Sorori lost a bet on the ticket. Oh yeah. And the bet payoff was they had to do in two hour um <laughs> <laughs> pregame a pre-draft show. Mm -hmm. for the WNBA. So they had to do research and study and do a two hour show on the WNBA draft. He's soaking in floppy Oof. fingers. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> I lost. Eef. Oh God. But I think this year's on and off the field fancy football league punishment is gonna have to be the IHOP punishment. No no Waffle House. Uh, Waffle I mean, House. Right? Like, I think it can be it can be any local <laughs> Yeah, we local pancake or waffle house. Like I think. Two weeks ago, and we like mentioned it last week as well. I, I agree. I think it's fantastic. I wanted to do it this past year, but I couldn't get anyone really on board for it because everyone was scared. God, it sounds like a bunch of Nancys. Who lost in that league? Oh, it was probably me. I sucked. I don't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was me. <laughs> if someone, if someone was worse than me, I'd be pretty shocked. I were sucked. We in, were we in that league? I think so. Okay. I I, I would be willing to bet. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, I should start that up soon. There's people already drafting. You know what? I actually did a mock draft because I was at I was at my parents. My my uh, <laughs> got nothing better to do. I was at my in laws, and oh, okay. uh, the my father in law either has the TV on mute where it just has captions, or he's got it on eighty seven. Okay, so, good in between. Yeah, you know it's pretty pretty even. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just this before we met up with with Francis. Like, let me go ahead and knock out my very first mock draft of the year. And so this was that was my very first time thinking about it. And it's June. It's late June. How do you so, think it went? Uh, I did okay. I just I think I got like a B plus or some shit. But it's still like I was I was very confused about like what I actually wanted to accomplish, what how I wanted to build my roster. So I'm still. I mean, I'm a long ways away from feeling confident. So 
what's the punishment? We have to buy a Waffle House franchise? No, you have to <laughs> you have to spend 24 hours at Waffle House. Uh-huh. But you get 1 hour taken off uh-huh. for every waffle that you eat. If Ryan was locked in a Waffle House for 24 hours and those rules apply, how long would he actually spend in the Waffle House? I mean, you really underestimate waffles until you get into that situation. I think he no, would spend I, 12 or less hours there. I think the one guy who did it that I saw the post about, I think he ended up spending 17 hours there. Yeah, 16 yeah, or 17. That's yeah. pretty bad, though. That's like, that's, that's weak. Yeah, that's weak sauce. That's weak. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm knowing, I know this going into it, right? So I'm fasting going into it. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Um, I agree. I, I think I want to say I could eat. In in a twenty four hour period, I mean less than a twenty four hour period at this point. Um, waffles their waffles are delicious. They are. That's the wrong. That's the wrong there, but that's okay. Would ten, you ten to twelve? Yeah, I, I'm almost on board with just hey, I've got to stay here for twelve hours or twenty four hours. I need you to get me the booth in the corner, and I'm just gonna go to sleep. Yeah, no, this is definitely <laughs> one of those. And like everyone who's talked about it, they've talked about how the 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 He's not even trying. He's I would never out. lose for one back to back champ here. There you go. Oh, Spend guy. three to four hours. Oh, yeah. Red Merck's like, Merck. I'm eating my way out of here. The only reason I'm three to four hours in this bitch is because it takes me that long to eat. Get 24. <laughs> <laughs> you only got to eat 21 to uh, 20 to 21 oh, waffles there. God. Thanks, Jason. No, thanks. Hey, Jason, do me a favor. Uh, Keep using the wrong one. Just oh, no. set this jackwad off. Okay. Oh, God. But, do you guys have any grammar? Like pet peeves, or you just don't give a shit about that? I don't. Uh, As no. a matter of fact, I will specifically, it, especially in the group chat, I will do wrong, <laughs> wrong, wrong words and wrong grammar just because I know it will get on yours and Francis's nerves. I uh, normally don't say anything, but I, I, I at least use it right for myself usually. If I send something to Francis, to. it's yeah. all wrong. All wrong. Yeah, I try to use the same or the correct thing, but yeah, with the internet, if if I'm typing into a chat or something like that, uh, or if someone else does, yeah, I don't, I don't ever really call them out or anything like that. Would you because cut the syrup out? No. Yeah, no syrup. Uh, maybe for the first time, I'm like, you, oh, you, you know what? Let you me have that to. first one. Yeah, I need that. That t- now I'm not going to go like overboard, <laughs> but I'm, I'm. There's going to be syrup on it okay. for, for the for the. I ain't eating no dry waffles. Hell yeah, no. yeah. I need something. I, I do want to. Yeah, I need them to lube those. lube me up. Syrup helps it slide down. Yeah, <laughs> what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't think we could ever get something like this passed in our big money league or our gangster league or whatever. But I mean, I, I I think it'd be fun, and it would definitely keep your ass on your I'll, toes. I'll tell you this: if we were to raise fifteen hundred dollars for charity in a night, I'd do it. Yeah, you would just do it. You'd go and sit in a waffle. If, if we raise fifteen hundred dollars for charity in one night, yeah. I would go and do it. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll put that on the docket, or maybe we'll just go to a uh, Waffle House and set up. There you go. Or like in a Waffle House. All We're not time. leaving this Waffle House till we raise fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> Dunk them in water like Joey Chestnut. <laughs> so, like, uh, how long? Would Joey Chestnut would spend what? Like ten minutes. Ten minutes there. <laughs> Twenty. You can't. I mean, go he's he's on TikTok up. now. I've seen him eat some shit on I TikTok. About a, he drank a gallon of milk in thirteen seconds. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> I'm pretty he sure 24 waffles. Hands. 24 here, waffles. Here's is like what I'm gonna do. Next. Here's what I'm doing this year oh, for the uh, hot dog eating contest. I I normally post about it. <laughs> I do a video know. before it. I do a video after it. You're gonna get live video of me watching the hot dog eating contest this year. Oh yeah. On strikeout beer on all avenues. I'm going live while I watch it. I was just to watch trying to Joey it Chestnut. And, yeah. Just be all that ma- he he's can you place bets on ju- on the hot dog eating contest in Vegas? Oh, Dude, oh, yeah. you can place bets oh, yeah. on whatever that you want yeah, yeah that's what i thought so they do the over under and then they do some, uh, a couple of their props grumpy oh god why is uh green man in here like i hop just waffles, in case you just tuned pancakes. in we have announced the expansion of team having fun gonna get to get a hair dye. ryan francis and mr dylan moron are gonna join us and we are doing uh we're gonna have a podcast with the four of us. Uh record a podcast we'll release once every week, two, whatever we figure out. Mm-hmm. Uh 30 minutes of us just talking about whatever. Yeah. Who knows? I like IHOPs, waffles, and Waffle House's pancakes. 
I didn't even know I have had waffles. <clears throat> I didn't know Waffle House had pancakes either. Damn. Yeah. They, they I'm both. learning from them. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll go live for the WNBA championship. Ooh. You gotta let us know when it is, though. I was again. <laughs> you stole my comments. If 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 we knew, if I know what's going on, yeah, we'll go live. Yeah, go ahead and send us hard to time. hard to know sometimes. Yeah, one hundred percent. Um, gosh, you know this summer, okay. I've been me and the kid. We joined. Did you ever do summer reading programs when you were a kid? <sighs> yeah, Pizza Hut thing, right? You had the Pizza Hut book it. No, Dylan knows nothing about that. Oh. But you ever do a summer re- reading program, Dylan? I don't read like in the summer. Your local library or anything like that. No. Well, what do you? What do you? No. I grew up in Pulaski. We didn't read. Uh, I don't think, still don't read. I don't think Mahomes and Palomano use Pert Plus. I think it was a uh, uh, Head and Shoulders. It's Head, head and, and shoulders. shoulders. Yeah, Head yeah. and Shoulders. Rookie, rookie mistake there, kid. Yeah, would have been an awesome joke. I'm too busy scaring on the ground for ten dollars. <laughs> he tried. He <laughs> tried. It was, yeah, but so we've been me and the kiddo. We've been doing this summer reading program they have it for the adults too, mm-hmm. and she reads a lot of um, nonfiction books about like animals and things like that. And she was reading; she's been reading a book about penguins here lately. Mm-hmm. And she found out she was looking in there. And do you guys know how penguins build their houses? <clears throat> Anybody? No idea, Dylan. I, I I would assume they don't live in houses. But it's a stupid dad joke on its way. Oh, it's a dad joke. Okay. What? No. This is. How do, hold on. I want to see if I can get this. Penguins build their houses. Man, what do penguins do? Oh, a man. on their foot. No. A huddle. I, I, don't, I don't know. This is a tough one. I don't know. They uh, igloo it together. Yeah. Yeah, it <laughs> and this week's dad joke is brought to you by JB Carts. Check them out on Facebook and Instagram. And at jbcarts.com. You got to get that sponsorship. I'm in there. telling you. God. That's JB Carts. Is that you can like rent golf carts? Is that what that JB is? Carts. JBcarts.com. He, he actually, uh, you can buy golf carts from him. Oh. Yeah. I've always wanted a golf cart. You can buy one from him and he'll ship it to you. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Do JB I get a discount Carts. because I'm a, I'm a member of the THF podcast? No. Yeah, I don't no. know. No, no discount code with this promotion? There's not. I doubt it at this point. Those things are expensive. <laughs> They're so they're pricey as shit. Jason, damn, so close, but yet so far away. Oh, God. You were close. You were close, Jason. Pert Plus, Head and Shoulders. <laughs> I mean, God. they're both. I, I can see this connection. That's fine. Yeah. God. Dylan, do we need to cut you loose? Do you need to go stream a little bit? I'm gonna I'm gonna sh- blow up this granny or, simulator. Or do you, or do you want to hear why uh, Rapid Dave hates all female characters? I'm not ready to talk okay, about let's that. do that first, and then I'll <laughs> then I'll load up Granny Simulator. So. With a little Caesars, ah. oh, dude. <laughs> and this week's dad joke is brought to you by JB Carts. Check them out on Facebook and Instagram, and at jbcarts.com. I love that's that. a better joke. I like that one. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna store that one away for future. All right, so here we are. We got rid of that guy because he just he said yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, okay. no, he said that joke was better than mine, so oh, I got rid of it. Okay. Okay. I was like, it was good. fired. I liked it. Yeah, but. So a fun thing that I learned today is Rapid Dave hates all female characters in, in TV shows. Now, is that an overreaction because he just hates oh. everything or is this like a real well, thing? OK, first of all, he does hate everything. But right. so we're talking specifically about the show Loki. Have OK. You seen it? OK. Yeah, I, I just watched episode four tonight. So, OK, so you watched the new one. What do you think of it? It was OK. That's what he's going to say. I think it was it was good. We're starting to like really start. We're unraveling things a little right. bit. A lot of secrets, right? Yeah. Uh, and oh I knew God. for a fact that these people weren't dying when they got stuck. Uh, David, uh, I like Dylan. Where do we find his stream? So Dylan's stream is Green Man streaming over on Twitch. Mm-hmm. Uh, any spaces or is just all one word there, Dylan? Hold on. I got you. Okay. Go ahead. Go no. and throw it in there. Uh, but no. also you can catch him Tuesdays. At 5 p.m. Central. Oh, he's on Facebook. Yeah, on, really. on and off the field. Yep. That's uh, Facebook, Twitch. I'm a dumbass. YouTube. Are you on YouTube, too? He it's is. on YouTube, but I don't really. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mike Graham. What we got Here's here? Mike Graham. TQ. Evan Pam Anderson. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Even Pam Anderson and Baywatch. What? I don't. 
Cheers to you. Oh, he's saying about me hating uh, female characters. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah he hate, does. I didn't hate Pam Anderson. Uh, beer with Tiki. You guys have a sock cam <laughs> legit and beer. Instant subscribe. Cheers, y'all. Hey, it's thank only, you so much. It's because OnlyFans shut so us only down. OnlyFans won't let us go live right now. If we could go live on OnlyFans, which we need a 1,000 <laughs> followers. So, guys, go check us out on OnlyFans. Strike out beer on OnlyFans. Give us a like. Once we hit 1,000 there, you'll get the sock cam for the entirety of the show. <laughs> <laughs> or kilt cam or kilt doing. cam or rapid days front yard cam oh yeah we got cams everywhere we got cams all over the place guys litter pulls out back so but a thousand subscribers on only fans that's it that's can all you, we need can you believe that jesus <sighs> that's brutal. i'm waiting on the vince vaughn to make his appearance on loki <laughs> vince vaughn is he supposed to am i missing oh, something? <laughs> so I asked Rap Rapper Dave goes, yeah, this, this episode sucks. Like he says with every episode, he goes, you know what? I can't stand. I go, no, what, what can't you say? He goes that, that girl on there. Yeah. That chick. <laughs> so I, I was cleaning it up for the show. Okay. He said that. Which, chick. Wait, said, which one? There's a couple. That, that's what I said. I go, which one? He goes, hold on. I'll show you. So he hits play on it. And before every episode, they have the recap, right? Every single girl that showed up, he goes, her, 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 <laughs> Her, her, every single one except for one. Oh, because she was part of the new episode. Never mind. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. There's a new every girl in this one. single one. That's the girl from Thor. I can't think of her name. Lady Sif. Oh, yeah. Sif. Yeah, Sif. Yeah, Oof. yeah. The one who just showed up to kick Loki in the nuts. He which was, which was amazing. Her. Which I'm okay with that. Uh, that's what OnlyFans means on the side cam album uh, that makes sense now. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. But every single girl that showed up. But not only that, fans. but let me take let me take you back. We're gonna go back in time to the show Game of Thrones. Okay. Tell me one girl on Game of Thrones that didn't annoy you. Um Joffrey's wife. I can't think of her name. And her grandmother. What's her name? Um the first one she married, he married. Yeah, uh, um, the redheaded chick or something. No, like. no, no, no. I didn't mind the uh, uh, Marjorie. Marjorie. I didn't mind Marjorie. I liked her grandmother, oh, and yeah. I liked uh, the the red lady too. The okay. grandmother was a badass. Yeah, I'm, she was. I'm here to report that's a lie. He complained about her. Not only did he complain the about grandmother. Her, no, Marjorie. Oh, okay. You complained about her, but not only did you complain about her. The naked one. You complain. <laughs> that's all of them. That's all been naked. Naked. Brienne was kind of naked. And then he would be like, you know what I don't like about her? That dumb smirk on her face. Which one? Marjorie. Marjorie. <laughs> And he, then, then the realization just hit him. He's like, "Yeah, he's right." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I hated her. He could have said anything. I'm still gonna laugh. I like uh, uh, Cat Stark. I didn't like her. I had problems with her from the start. She's like one of the main main characters. I you know, guarantee I like, you had problems with her. Dies like two episodes or two I like I there. like Ned Stark's sister. She's great. <laughs> the one who's not in the show. Yeah, she did. Well, she gave birth to John. But she's not the show. Oh, she, she was she in was one in, episode for like yeah. two minutes. Yeah. A couple of those uh people with the the Doth Draki, those are kind of cool. All the dudes? The chicks. The chicks that were in the Doth There's chick Doth There yeah. are, but yeah. <laughs> the ones that were working on Khaleesi the whole time. They're kind of just there. <laughs> oh, I liked Roz. Roz was cool. From Night Court? No, not Friends. Ross. Not Court, you jackass. <laughs> not Ross, you moron. <laughs> <laughs> she was the redhead that little finger. Uh, she went to go work for little finger and then Joffrey killed her. Okay. She was the, cool. the one who, like, every time you saw her, she had her perky tits out. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that makes sense. That's why I liked that one. Yeah. <laughs> it did check out. He hated uh, Wanda and WandaVision. She was annoying. I, You know who I liked in WandaVision? Go ahead and say it. You like the Agatha. Yeah, goddamn but, right. I mean, if you didn't like Agatha, you're not just not. Definitely. I liked Agatha's character until like she became evil, and then she became like an annoying oh, evil person. She was evil the whole time, though, bro. Well, I know, but like her characters throughout, she, like she's like a fun actress, and like everything was going well, and then she like revealed herself, and everything became like it wasn't funny anymore. It wasn't like niche. It just became awkward. 
I didn't really like her once she be like in that final episode with, with the big fight in the sky. Oh, yeah. I just wasn't really into her character in that moment. I was just kind of looking at her like you're just a clown at the, like shooting purple. I well, just know. so you know, she'll be back later. Yeah, I need more Agatha anyways, or Agatha, Agatha, or, yeah, Agatha or whatever. But uh, give me the next one. Give, come on, start firing away some more because I've got plenty of love, but I got some hate. But, uh, <laughs> Only some. Sh- Sharon Carter and Falcon and Winter Soldier. Soldier, who the hell is that? The blonde chick. Yes. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. uh, well, that's how much you hate it. Oh, her. that chick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't like anything that she oh, does. That she, chick. she sucks at all the movies she's in. <laughs> like she brought out and immediately thought, "I'm like, I'm watching a TV series, right?" And that's what the I thought. The sisters in um, they are so annoying. <laughs> from uh, the Star Wars, the, the company, bad company, or whatever. <laughs> What the hell is it called? The bad, bad batch. Bad batch. Bad batch. There we go. Bad batch. They are. They're terrible. They're annoying. They almost ruined the last season of uh, uh, Clone, Clone Wars. Wars. They almost ruined it. It was. Oh, stupid. calm down. I'm only in season six. Hold on. It's I'm grinding through Clone Wars for the first time okay. ever. That last Dude, season is going to get you. The and I, last four episodes are the best thing. Best thing in the Star Wars universe. I'm going to need you to text us. As soon as you're done with the, if you want to go episode to episode, the last three or four, last four, last four, <laughs> the last four. But I want to know what you think, and if you want to go live, I'll go live with you because it's 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 crazy. It's amazing. It's crazy. The last four episodes are the best thing in the Star Wars universe. Yeah. And if you don't agree with me, I'll fight you. I've and had I'm, like I've had zero complaints this entire series. Oh, there's, there's, been, there's been a couple of like slow episodes here be, and there. Like, wait, the you thing, get to the, season seven. And the, the thing that this series has done for me is like I've always been like. I, I like Star Wars. I'll tell people like, yeah, I like it, but I'm not going to sit here and like rave about it. I like all the movies I've seen and whatnot. And I've seen Solo, whatever. But I've never appreciated the Star Wars universe this much until I, until I started watching Clone Wars because it just breaks everything down to a microscopic level. And now I'm in love with it. It but, changes everything. But here's it: like before that, before the Clone Wars TV series. Did you like Anakin Skywalker at all? Oh, I got it. I understood his character. He's like this edgy but, teenager. Like I, <laughs> but you, but you get more from the show, right? Oh, a hundred percent. Like before, it was just like, yeah, okay, it's Anakin Skywalker. He's a little douchey. I understand where people are coming from. Right. But Anakin in the series is awesome. Love it. But yeah. not only that, but you get like for me, one the characters that has become one of my favorite characters in the Star Wars universe is Ahsoka. Oh and, my and god! She's you so cool. get her whole story arc in Clone Wars mm-hmm. from when she enters the Jedi Order until Don't she leaves it. the Jedi Order. I'm sorry, it's been out for. That just, I, I don't worry. That was the end of season five, so I, okay. I, I right. got yeah. that. Yeah. Looks like we're talking to the guy. Se- season six, I know. Okay. Right. I know where he's at. Okay. But, yeah, we just we're, yeah. we're working on the whole discovering of the inhibitor chip. Right Which now. I mean, season six was really good in and of itself. Um, that was a season that was added on later on Netflix, and then season seven was added on on Disney Plus. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, it's you. You get Ahsoka, and you get to grow with her through her journey of becoming a Jedi and things like that. And you get that full experience with her, which is awesome because that's really the only person in the Jedi Order that you get that full experience with. Nice. But it's even like in the movies, like you see all these other different Jedi masters and they're kind of just like there. They're just other Jedis in the movies. But in the series, you're like learning their names. You're getting a little bit of history with like all these other Jedi masters in the series that are kind of just like side pieces in the movies. I realize you can't do like full introductions for everybody in a movie. I get it. But that's why I didn't appreciate it as much. But now I do. Mm hmm. You you get to meet people like uh, Jedi Master uh, Ploku. That dude's awesome. I don't know who that is. Yeah, well, he's the one that looks. He's he wears the Bane mask and the goggles. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. But not only does Rapid Dave hate female characters, I just I just defended myself and said I don't. You failed at it. I did not. For the record, Uh, he hates character development. If they drone on about things and their episodes, if you have an episode where they focus on character development where you learn more about that character learn their backstory learn about what he's they've out. gone through See, he's talking like, about loki and loki sucks. sitting on a rock no, talking no, to each just other not loki. 
any Jesus show. Christ. Any show. You're like, oh, yeah, no, this episode sucked. It was so slow. Well, man, with this episode, you learned about so-and-so and, you know, why they've gone through this and all this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, that all sucked. Oh, you mean the character development of it? It sucked if hey, it sucked. Hey, you know what show doesn't have character development that Rapid Dave loves? Trailer Park Boys? <laughs> <laughs> the give perfect him, example. What's up, what's up Arm? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> give, him, give him Trailer Park Boys. Give him the league. There's no character development in the league. No, not at all. None. Okay. The kid there's grows up a little bit. There's some. Oh, you talking there. about? Okay. No, there's no character development. Okay. <laughs> Chalupa Taco, be Taco becomes a real businessman by the That's end. What I was like, yeah. I was actually going to mention no, Taco, but there's no didn't. character development there. He's the same guy throughout the whole thing. Okay. It's pretty, it's pretty true. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> you give him a show where there's no yeah. character development. He's all I'm in. I'm just there for a good time. I'm not trying to hey, sit there and try to you fucking know what he dissect loves? everything. He loves the Fast and the Furious movies. There's no character development there. What? I stopped what yeah, I don't like those. The Fast and Furious memes are lit right now. Yo, yeah, they, they got the one with like he's he's like flying the car through space. He's like, you can't go out there. There's no oxygen. He's like, I don't eat need oxygen. I have family. And then he jumps out of the car and <laughs> goes, Oh my god. <laughs> I sent Alan that like a week ago when I saw it. I go, I watch this shit. It's like <laughs> team having fun shared the uh, Anakin. Like, what are you doing up here, Dom? <laughs> you can't be up here. He's like, I have family. <laughs> uh, hope you're enjoying your lunch there, Marv. Appreciate uh, you dude, rolling through. Hey, go check out Marv Dingo over there. I was uh yesterday. Mm -hmm. I was in his stream the the whole morning. We told me to go over there. This. I told you to. Yeah, dude, he's he's freaking awesome. Uh, he plays, I don't know what the name of the game is. He plays this game where it's like with like zombies or not necessarily zombies, but I don't know what the heck they are. But like at one point in time, he's like standing in this like cavern and there's all these things coming down. It's like, what's going on? It's like, oh, they're just throwing babies at him. What? What? <laughs> Jesus. I don't, Marv, what's that game you were playing it's yesterday? Tell us. It's there. just. Yeah, I just, I just followed Marv. Oh, the forest. He plays the forest. Grumpy oh, was God. just playing that the other day. Okay, nice. maybe I, that might have been the game he was playing, but it's yeah, the force. Yeah, <laughs> no, man, it's just and like the thing with him is like I, I was talking to him during the stream and things like that. And we were talking about like streamers you follow and, you know, you got some that you follow because of the game and things like that. And, like for me, it's it's not about the game that you're playing. I don't care what you're playing. I care Unless it's granny it. simulator. Yeah. If you're streaming Grammy sim Granny Simulator, I'm in 900% of the time. You let me know when you're streaming, and I'm going to rage you every single time. Uh, but it's for me, it's about the streamer. Yeah. And are you interactive? Are you talking to people? If I come in and say, hey, what's up? Are you going to acknowledge me? If I rage you, are you going to even acknowledge that raid? Because I raided That's someone last week. Shit. I raided yeah. someone last week, and it was like 20 minutes where it said, oh, hey. Um, thanks for that raid. I've already left the stream if by then 20 right. minutes later, I'm already gone. I'll give, well, like, I'll I'm give you a couple minutes. There. I'll give you a I'm couple minutes. I'm still in there talking to Rapid Dave, talking ass like this mother hasn't mentioned the fact that I raided him yet. <laughs> like right in his comment section. Dude. Like, another <laughs> I'm telling you right now, Dude. I you know, some rate sometimes you get a decent raid from us, sometimes you get like a, a couple. But I treat every raid the same. Like if I get a raid from one or two or, or whatever, I'm like, hey, thanks so much. Now, if I get a massive raid, I might lose my ass because I'm like so nervous and got anxiety. Dude, you, you get, get that hot, hot, you get that hot mom raid. raid. Yeah, that whole hot mom raid. Dude. Yeah, hot mom raid. Or she's raiding like forty people here lately. Yeah. I mean, I used to get raids from Newt and um, was it Nico and whatnot, and I was like, I was like losing my mind. Well, I didn't know what to do. Who was it that uh, old school got the raid from that one time? Was it Kingslayer? Kingslayer. And he ended up having like over a hundred people in his chat. He's like, yeah. and that's the only time I've ever seen old school lose his cool. What's like, up, Blonde? He was just like, oh gosh. Like he was freaking out. Yeah. And like anytime you watch old school, he's the most cool, calm, collect streamer you'll, you'll ever watch. Cool as a cucumber. And if well, you, you guys go, don't know who go, that blonde. is, that's what's going on they, right now. All of it. Got that sock cam going on for you. A little late night glitter pool. Action. What's rapid? We didn't even go over what rapid Dave socks are. They're cool uh, as shit. That's Saint all you need. Patty Day socks that yeah, we got at the 5K we were in. Yeah, I do like the socks. Yeah. The yellow green is sexy. Uh, no, I was on them. Let's see. Since I was like in sixth or seventh grade. But if the money's right, donating to the charity, we'll get that action going. Yeah. We just took a picture for the only fans before. We yeah, Marva. I just trying to make a personal co uh, connection with all my viewers. That's what it's about. Like if you. 
I suck at Fortnite and I stream it. Yeah. But if you come in there, hey, how's it going? What have you been up to? Let's talk. And then I talk a bunch of nerd stuff. Like people know if you come in my chat mm-hmm. while I'm streaming and you want to talk nerd stuff, I'm all in. Right. Let's talk comics. Let's talk movies. Let's talk TV shows. Whatever you want to talk about. I'm I'm all in. Let's talk about it. Let's have some fun. Yeah, I was a, uh, I got lucky two streams ago. I got rated three times. Yeah. And you thanks, know, V. Thank you very much, Miss V. Yeah, I'll put it back up there for you one more time. Get but, it all up there. I mean, some of them were uh, one of the raids was two people. Thank you. That's two more people than I had before. Thanks for finding me. Thank you. Yeah. You know, I I don't get that kind of stuff. I don't get. I, I don't. You get, raid me with one. Thank you. Yeah, I, I just don't understand things like that. Like, like we've talked before. It's like you know, and that's one thing we push on for S, uh, SHS. It's raid somebody. Don't just end your stream. Just raid somebody, even if it's another like you know fellow SHS member. We're all online at one point. At some point in time, there. That's the cool thing about SHS is because we got people over here in the states. We got people in uh, England, Australia, uh, all over the world. Mm-hmm. So there's not a point in time. Where you're streaming and someone's not on. Yep. Are you clicking? Uh, you are. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. Some uh, sometimes it gets me with the anxiety a little bit as well. <clears throat> there was raids nowadays. Uh, should be called for them. Hey, it, it's just how it goes. It really is. It's it's unfortunately how it goes right now. I think it's during summertime. I've looked at the numbers on Facebook. I looked number on Twitch, and the the numbers are staggering. You know what I mean? It, it's like. Are people raiding nowadays if they're not? But for us, for SHS, we recommend everybody raid. Dylan, do you raid after every show? Hell yeah. Unless Twitch tells me I can't. Yeah. <laughs> he gave me a raid. No, just, do a <laughs> just do a host at that point. You know what Dude, I mean? He comes in. I think L Stud was in there raid. with me, man. Yeah, L, L, J came in with you. Dude, I was in there. I was trying to raid for like 10 minutes, just like sitting there waiting, hoping it would let me do it. it just never did. It was crazy. I got rated three times the other night. 90 plus viewers, not one follow picked up. I Ugh. made more of a uh, deal with three to one viewers or, and plus 30 plus right now. Okay. Yeah. Raids on Facebook are broken. They've been broken for a while, but they seem to work. It just kind of, I, I find something a little strange with, um, with Facebook, but you know, it just, I'm not going to stop raiding. No, because as soon as I end my stream and then everything is kicked to that channel, no matter what on Twitch, I've had streams where it's one and the one person is me and I go and raid just just to let the person know, hey, I'm trying. Why wouldn't I go say hey to somebody? Exactly. Or, or just pop in. I usually don't even look at the number most of the time. I just like getting that notification that there was a raid. If I'm in the middle of a game, I see the raid. Like, I don't give a shit how many people it is. Yeah. Well, when I first started streaming, it was just I was streaming for myself. Someone said that once, like when I rated someone, it was it me or was it, I can't remember who the hell it was. And it was like, you rated somebody on Twitch and they're like, oh man, how many people rated you? And it was like, oh, it says six or seven or whatever it was. Like, oh, okay. He just like, blew it up. I was like, <laughs> Jesus. Hey, you listen here, you little fucking C sucker. Uh, that's a person that will never get a raid again. Exactly. Well, but, you goddamn hey. right about that. They didn't get the raid. They didn't get the follow. They didn't get nothing. I was like, you know what? You and your little friend, go fuck off somewhere. Milan raided me the other night. Mm-hmm. I appreciated it. Yeah, of I, I don't remember how many she rated me with, but I don't care. It's it's the thought that counts, right? You came, you made the effort. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah Blonde yeah. generally gets our strike up air raids. Yeah, uh, tonight I went to our our pal Planet. I had to mix it around. I have to. I gotta mix. You, gotta, you, you know, gotta shake it up every yeah. so often. Gotta show the love to everybody because it's a great community that we have here. And yeah, I mean, just like we're gonna end the show tonight, we're gonna raid someone else. You know, it. We are a podcast. This is a talk show. But we're going to raid one of our streaming friends from SHS. So, yep. and like Dylan does it every night. You know, I haven't been streaming in a couple, I'd say about a week and a half. I don't know when I'll kick it back up. We'll see. Yeah. Always tell people the name, spelling, and to go to search if they don't get sent over with the raid. Yep. yep. Uh, Blonde, the thought. Yes. Marv, I don't have numbers or viewer list on. People get caught up on them. Yeah. And that's the thing, like, especially on like Twitch, I've seen the numbers have been wrong a lot of the times. Yeah. For me, I stream just because I have fun with it. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, right now I'm a little bit more. I pay attention to the numbers after the stream's over because right. I'm working on getting my affiliate right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I don't, I don't care. You know, oh, uh, that's why I do blonde rated with people. Oh yeah? God, I'm, I'm laughing at the next comment. <laughs> I did a raid back in college. It was great. I got like five or six pennies. <laughs> 
Billy Joe. Oh, this guy's a legend. He's a legend. <laughs> God, no matter where league. he goes or what he does, he's an absolute legend. Who's winning the Super Bowl this year, Billy Joe? Ooh, I'd like to know that as well. I, I I think I put it on. I was listening on and off the field with you guys maybe like two or three weeks ago. It could even be further back, like even a month ago. And he says Chiefs. He's always Chiefs. <laughs> I think me and Durf had the same outcome. I, I was it Bills and Bucks in the. Yeah, Super Bowl I think you're both riding Bills, Bucks, but <laughs> Bucks win. Bucks win. I think that's what I said as well. Yeah, because as soon as I, I put it out there, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the same thing as I got. It there. almost feels like right now that it's a lost season because every like, the fact that the Bucks are still all together, unless there's some crazy Tom Brady injury or something weird happens, mm-hmm. it just feels like with how dominant they were last year down the stretch, like who's stopping that? I don't. It's just. It just seems like it's not going to be able to be stopped for some reason. I don't know. It's gonna. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, pretty tough stuff. Uh, what beer are you guys drinking? We're having Sierra Nevada summer break. It's a session. Uh, I can't even get that close to the camera. I'll post a picture tomorrow. Sierra Nevada summer break session. Hazy. Just drink beer. Don't drink that. All right. I mean, I have more beer. Oh God. Is that Dark Horse? <laughs> no, it's Screwball. It's same whiskey as we had. Oh. Yeah, he's still wanting a drink. It's 10 o'clock, so you know we're about to shut this little show down here in a second. We're going to talk a little Cosby and some other uh, crazy-ass shit that happened today. But, yeah, I mean, I, I I really enjoyed this beer, to be honest with you, and I know you can get it in your location there, uh, Mr. Sprague. Sierra Nevada Summer Break. 4.6% alcohol by volume. It ain't much. It tastes pretty damn good, though. So if you, good. if you guys can get it, let me know. I mean, it's around the – I mean – it's distributed in the U.S., so everybody should be able to get this. You should check it out too, Dylan. I feel like I've heard of Sierra Nevada. I, I think I've seen it before. I have to go look. They're, at it. they're big up in Seattle, aren't they? Is that where they're at? Some of them brew in North Carolina. The, the name sounds oh, yeah, familiar no, for yeah, some it's reason. It's in North Carolina. Sorry. Yeah. Encino, California, and uh, Mills River, uh, North Carolina. Yep, yep, yep. Absolutely. That's where they uh, brew out of. Hey. uh do me a favor. If you check out that granny simulator night, make sure you go live. Even if it is for like 10 or 20 minutes or something like that. If you're on, I'm going to raid you anyways. I was going to say probably not tonight. Now too late okay. for me. I'm going to yeah, bed. Yeah, yeah. It's 11 15. But you can, you can bet your ass tomorrow's lunch stream is granny simulator. I'm in. I'm in brother. hundred percent. Right, Hashtag cool. me too. All right. Check them out. Green man streaming. Uh, that's on Twitch. And then on and off the field is on wherever you enjoy your podcast. Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Dylan, throw that tag in the uh, comments on Twitch for us, brother. We got. Yeah. Well, Blonde we, just asked again. for it. So what is Dylan's tag? Yeah. That's why, why I asked. Oh, yeah. Oh, he, he needs a mask. Yeah, I know, right? He doesn't have his mask on. Yeah. Hey, it's me. Oh, God. There is a ugly face behind that mask. Oh, Jesus. And you're seeing it today. Yeah, it's Green Man Streaming, Blonde. Come on, Blonde. And then an on, yeah, OOTF podcast. I know it was a little bit shorter yep. on Twitch. So, yeah, I don't know the field's too long. We shortened that up. Yep. Well, cheers to you, brother. Thanks for uh, joining, the, obviously, the THF Network. Um, I think, you know, Team Having Fun podcast is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to, it's, it's obviously, it ranges in ages. I'd like to say that first and foremost, you know, 20s, 30s, mm. and 40s. Yep. That's a good um, point. You know, a lot of viewpoints. We have some diversity with this, a lot of different viewpoints, like you said. I think it's going to bring in a little bit. I think it's going to bring in a little, a little something. We're all white. What's the know. name of the podcast? Can be? Is it just Team Having Fun Podcast? Or yeah. Is it- Having fun yep. Okay. All right. So I'll make sure. Basic as shit. Uh, keep using Pert Plus, Dylan. Yeah. What Jason wants us to tell you. Yep. Yeah. Keep using that. No problem. Keep doing what you're doing, Playboy. Make that money. Well, guess what? Oh, geez. This isn't off. even my real oh, hair. Yeah. Oh, wow. That wasn't real? Holy oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. I don't even know what's going on right now. Yeah. I thought that was real. I, I'm i right there with you, Billy Joe. It looked cool. Mind blown. <laughs> Insanity. Jason, damn. That's what funny. <laughs> Something was wrong here. <laughs> I mean, that and his face blonde. But well, cheers to you, kid. 
Uh, Cheers. I look forward to these these shows that we're gonna oh. do. Oh god. And uh, I really do. I mean, I think it's gonna be crazy. I think we're gonna have some fun. Would have more hair if you use Pert Plus. That's and why I'm, it's that's why it's called Team Having Fun Podcast. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think most people think that we all stand on the same side of the fence for everything or whatever. <laughs> Actually, we're very much divided. Like it's like seriously, the way Dylan thinks, the way Francis thinks, Alan thinks, and myself. Um, but we're gonna review some movies. We're gonna re- uh, talk about TV and just music, current events, things like that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yes. Uh, good job. <laughs> All right, Dylan. We'll see you next time. Thank pal. you, Dylan. See ya. <laughs> All right, so we've got a couple topics left to cover. Let's get a live look into the, uh, the sock cam. Sock cam! Mm-hmm. Glitter pool, late night glitter pools going on. Mm-hmm. So did you guys talk about Cosby or the NCAA at all? I mean, I wasn't gone long enough. No, no, no. I, I, we okay. just, if I mentioned it, it was at a, a, a brief moment. Um, where, where do you want to start? You want to talk about the NCAA or Cosby? Let's get going. We're talking I, about both. I've got about 15 minutes. So you got about 15 minutes. Okay. All right. Well, for the show, pick pick one chief NCAA. Okay. So the NCAA came out and just, and decided or it wasn't the, a law was passed a preliminary preliminary law that starting tomorrow, oh, take your, take July your 1st, um, <laughs> that chance is crazy. Red coming in NCAA that's and. Any NCAA athlete in the 50 states can monetize off of their name or their likeness. Mm-hmm. And that's a huge step in for, for the NCAA. Like, and but this wasn't passed by the NCAA, this was passed by the the federal government or whatever. It's a law that was passed that said that they could do that. And I think that's something that is big, mm-hmm. and I think colleges can really use that towards their recruiting. Mm-hmm. But not just their recruiting, but with keeping players there. Like, for example, like Kentucky, right? Yeah. Big basketball school. Hey, you come here. I have, if you come to my school, I have five dealerships that are going to give you sponsorship deals. And you're going to get this money. Crazy, right? But not only are you going to get this money, but you'll get it throughout the duration of you coming to the school. So, Maybe you get less one and dones there because that's what Kentucky's known for right now, right? Last you come there, years, seven years. you play there for a year, and then you go pro and you get drafted in the first first round, right? So now you can keep those. Pl- <laughs> we almost lost the lamp over there. Rapid Dave is, is out of control. Sun's up on the Clippers 97. Uh, 83. We're watching it right now. Fourth quarter is getting ready to go. Uh, you had Tampa Bay take the lead over the Montreal Canadiens, the 2-0 lead with their 3-1 victory today, I think it was. Um, Tampa's looking to repeat. Montreal's in the finals for the first time since 1994, I think it is. Um, 94, 93, something like that. Yeah, Lightning won 9-3 today. But I really feel like that's really going to a lot of these schools it's really going to help with the with the recruiting will this get rid of schools getting in trouble for illegal recruiting yes and no i think you'll see less of it but i still think you're going to run into issues with schools you have boosters that just want to pay kids right you have some people who work for or not work for the schools but they are part of the alumni they went there they graduated they're retired or whatever and they're wealthy um so they don't have a business that they own where they could pay the kid now you'll have some where you've you've got a guy who owns five dealerships and he's going to give that player a sponsorship deal through all five of those dealerships uh whatever the business is that they do or things like that you're definitely going to get a bump in those. Will you still run into issues with players being paid? Yes, you will. This things are still going to come out, come out because you got people who are paying players who are retired, who don't have a job or a sponsorship or anything like that. They can offer. Now you get a little bit less, but it's definitely going to. Um, uh, so they just route the money through there. Hopefully. 
But I mean, you're going to have people who or aren't going to do what they're supposed to do. Schools will just find another way. Yeah. So I think this definitely helps out your bigger schools, your smaller schools. Not so much, but I mean, does this just not help Alabama get better players? Well, I don't know about help. It, it definitely helps all kids or all, all players. It, are. It, it helps. Uh, and my biggest thing is I think you might see some college players stay longer. You may do that. No, I got it. Okay. Um, there needs to be a limit to be fair to all schools. I mean, but it's not just sponsorships. It's also um, cashing in on your likeness. Yeah. So someone like Johnny Football. Or video games or signatures. Or right. Autographs, but like Johnny Football could have sold an S ton of shirts. Yeah. And which he did, actually. Remember well, he got, that's, that's one thing he got in trouble for, right? He got in trouble for uh, screwing around and, and selling a signature or whatever. Yeah. But they'll be able to do it more. You can have these bigger players go and sign autographs and get paid for and things like that. And I, I, I think that's the way it should be. Like honestly, I mean, it's tough. It, it, I've, it, I've grown up the yeah. along the, the along the way where hey, you know what, you're getting education or whatever right. it is. But that's not even the fact that they're not staying there for four years anyways. They're not getting education. They're actually kind of coming in. And they're there just to play whatever sport they're there to play. Now, if you're like a you know a lacrosse player, a soccer player, field and track, yeah, you're going to classes every day. You're there on a, a you're going to be there for 60. four years. This is more so for the football, the basketball, yeah. maybe baseball. Yeah, I don't even know about that. I mean, to a certain extent, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but I think it might help some of these schools keep players for longer, especially in basketball. Yeah. A live look into the uh, saw cam. The saw cam right there. There you go. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see how it works out here over the next few years. Oh, cool. Oh, man, we can get real viewers. Man. As opposed to all the fake viewers we have right now. Just click on that link if you want real viewers, guys. No, I don't put that. Don't click on it. Don't click on it. Some blue blood colleges got in trouble for recruiting. Now they can uh, funnel it and get away with it. There you yeah. go. No, they... They definitely can, but it's again, it's those people that with, with some of those schools, it might not might not necessarily be the coach who is going in there and doing it. It might be a booster reaching out and paying behind the scenes. That's not the case in all of it, but in some cases, it is. There's a lot of cases where that pops up, and it's a booster or the booster group who are like right. paying or buying cars or doing this and that for people. Or for kids, you know, that are... That are um, but they shouldn't be able to retire after four years in college. I mean, there's going to be some of those players. That, so let's take a look, for example, at like someone like... I don't think the amount of money is going to be... It's not a retirable amount after so, four years of college. So let me let me throw this out there. I I, so. I'm going to throw... Let me throw a player out there. Okay. Johnny Manziel. Okay. Sucked in the pro game. We all knew he wasn't going to be good. Yeah. If he was getting paid for his likeness, selling shirts, things like that, mm -hmm. he could have retired before he even went to the pro game. He still would have went into the draft and tried, right? How much money do you need? Listen, how much money do you need at the age of 21 to retire for the next 80 years or 60, uh, 70 years? Marv, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in, man. See Appreciate you, it. Later. Cheers to you, bud. I think she should get paid for sure, uh, but the education still got to be the focus. I mean, but it's it's and college is not some of those guys. Focus. It's they're not even going to the classes because they're it's great like, topic. By the way, thank you, old school Jay coming in. Uh, what's up, boys? Sorry, I'm late. Switching between playoff basketball and the Mexico versus Pamela soccer soccer game. Yeah, they got the what's uh, that game though. But it's. It's you, not the same, got... and two, let me tell you this right now. Johnny Manziel, doesn't matter how many shirts he could have sold, like 19, 20 years old, he's not retiring for the rest of his life. Think if about you, You've got someone like Johnny Manziel, right? How much money do you need to retire for the next 60 years? 60 years. De again, depends on how smart. Me? Give me a million, and I can retire off that. Because I'm not going to live above my means, right? Like I'm one of those guys. Like I've told you before, if I win the lottery, 
I'm still living where I'm living. I'm just paying off my mortgage. And I don't have a car or a house payment. I'm paying for my car. I don't have a car payment. But you don't have revenue coming in after that. Like, say you won the lottery for, like, say, a million dollars to sign up to retire with. Say I'm net. Put, I'm, I'm, yes. I'm putting a lot of that money into savings, and I'm getting money back on that, right? Into a savings account? It doesn't yield that much money. You don't think you could live? No. Right, right now, you get a million dollars. You can't live. No, I, I got so you can't retire off a million dollars right now. It's a 10 year for me, like in, in 50. Uh, Jay, we're on our first beer of the night, and so far it's delicious. You know what? Let's review this it's beer. Pretty good. Let's pretty review good. it. Pretty good because you're already done with it. I I'm am. almost done. Yeah. We're drinking summer break from Sierra Nevada's a session hazy IPA, 4.6 percent alcohol by volume. What do you got? It's so, it's so damn tasty. Actually, it's really good for a um, for a hazy. It, they took the hazy out of it. And just kind of made it taste like a regular IPA. Knock down the ABV to four and a half percent. It's an all day drinker, all day, all day. I mean, there was as soon as we cracked these things, it was it was locked and loaded. Uh, Sixty years, one mil is forty five dollars a day. Okay, but not I'm enough. I'm not going to live for another sixty years. Well, no, we're talking uh, a person of that kid's age. You know what I mean? Twenty year old. That's what we're talking about. No, I have a I have a plan, and I will retire in, in nine years now. So once I hit a mill, I'll hit a mill probably. Oh, hopefully more if Sheba in you cashes. Open in. up a Roth IRA. Yeah, I have a Roth IRA. Well, as well, I have my four hundred one k as well. I've got like if, accounts on accounts on accounts on accounts. Um, unless you take that mill and learn how to do stocks, it's not going to let. I mean. Our money's already like for our 401k and things like that. It's tied up in stocks, bonds, and other things like that. You, you know, Fidelity or whoever manages our money. Yeah. But for the other stuff that I have, yeah, no, I know. I just, I need more. And I'm, I'm, I put, I don't know what most people do, to be honest with you, because I have no idea. But yeah, no, like when I tell everybody else how much I put into my 401k, like percentage wise, they're pretty shocked by the number. And I've, I've done this for the longest time. I mean, like, I, is it 25? Uh, hell, I don't know. I told uh, you a long I, time I'm, ago. I think I have like 9% of my. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm so focused on retiring. I hate work. And yeah. I don't hate my job. I love my job. I love my boss. I love my boss's boss. I love all my teammates, all that kind of stuff. I just hate working. I'm so lazy. Uh, if you get paid a million, half goes to the government. There I mean. Go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just talking about if I had a million dollars. Yeah. I could be done. Net. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Net. I would assume I, you know, my dad's very well off. Um, we got a lot of brothers, a lot of uh, sisters and, and grandchildren, all that stuff. I don't know how much is coming to me, but even if he, he pushed that shit to me, I just push it off for another day. Like it would go to my kids and all that kind of stuff, oh. grandchildren and whatnot. As much as I want to retire, it won't be on his money. It'll be on my own, my own savings and all that kind of stuff. And, I, I, I maybe I'll live to seven. I just want to live to 70. 70. Yeah. That's, that's my number. That's not the number. Huh? That wasn't the number. Yeah. 70, 75? What was it 70 or 75? 75. 75. I just want to live to 75. It ain't going to take that much. There you go. Yeah. Um, Block eyes. I'm, I'm giving this beer a four. Highly off top. I mean, I, we started talking about this, but I almost went four and a quarter because it was just like, you know, it's so low ABV and just so tasty. You know what? I'm sticking with it too because it's four and a quarter for me. Four and a quarter for you? Okay. I'm it's getting, again, it's Sierra Nevada Summer Break yeah. Session Hazy IPA. Uh, damn good beer. Uh huh. Damn good. Here we go again, man. Phoenix, Phoenix is, if they win here, that's over, right? Yeah. Yeah. They no, this is over. Finals? Yeah. No, they're winning this. Uh, easy. Yeah. Should we throw some money down real quick or uh, me betting you? No, 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 no. Okay. I'll say I'll bet you 20 to your 40. Your or my. You're 20 to my 40. Oh, it's got to be your bull. <laughs> out of 10. No, we do this out of five. Uh, we align with um, untapped. Yeah. So all these beer scores we give uh, beers with Tiki are out of five. We're not beer snobs by any stretch of the imagination. We've had, I don't know, like I'll 300, 400 beers. Um, we kind of go around the spectrum. And if something just hits us right and tastes good, we give it a good score. I'm not sitting here trying to, you know, we have plenty uh, craft beers. 
Uh, Phoenix and LA are playing right now. Billy Joe basketball. So we're, like I said, we're not beer snobs. You know, we're out of the DFW area. We have a lot of good beers from our local brewers. You know, hell, they're, so one of our brewers, people. even like they're brewing a beer that's named after us. Your least favorite beer? Yeah. Uh, out of brutal beer work. So, like, if I say I love a beer, it's because I damn, I love it. I don't, I don't, I don't need it to be, you know, a, a craft beer or anything like that. I don't need it to be, whoa, 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 that's a bottle. Yeah, no, we're back on the whiskey. Oh, we're back to the whiskey. <laughs> we're out of beer. We're back to the whiskey. The first episode tonight was yeah. whiskey. Because our uh, <laughs> guest that we had on, dude, Chris Paul's on fire. Yeah, he is, Jay. Um, is a big whiskey drinker. Mm -hmm. And he was like, hey, let's drink whiskey. We're like, yes. And he's actually forming his own whiskey company. Uh, accumulating? Acu well, he, yeah, acquiring. He acquiring. Acquiring. Acquiring, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. So we're not snobs by any uh, stretch of imagination. We've been uh, doing this for like several years now. Um, we've had three. beers from... All over the, the world. What whiskey is that? It's a screwball peanut butter whiskey. Yeah. We had Witherspoon in there a minute ago, but that's from. We didn't uh, drink any of that. Yeah, it's local. Uh, but yeah, it's delicious. It's out of California. This one is. And we're based out of Texas. Look at this guy. Uh, he's just feeling it. He's just feeling it. That's all it is. Chris uh, Paul. It was good to see you. I'm glad you stopped by. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and make sure I see what's going on and uh, throw you a follow or a sub as well on. Uh, over on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, make sure to send that to me so I can follow him for my pages and stuff too. I'm just typing it in. Um, something else that we're doing. So like we're looking at doing things with the with gotcha, the show, bro. with the community, all that stuff. Um, our big focus right now is on Twitch with the Twitch community because you can do more with Twitch. He looks like definitely team having fun. I'll tell you. That. Uh, what was one of the best beers you guys had from overseas? It always goes um, back to German beers for me. Uh, when we when we start drinking German or Guinness, but I gotta get the Guinness off tap. Um, I don't. I'd have to go back and check out some of our scores. We've had a lot of really damn good um, Oktoberfest beers from overseas mm -hmm. that we really beers. liked. Um, I don't. I don't know off the top of my head the best overseas beers that that I've had. Um. And maybe that's something where we go back and look at our scores and things like that and revisit some of them. Maybe we do a uh, non-American beer Tiki. podcast. Uh, I just went ahead and subbed from our channel and Rapid Dave's channel. So I'll be with Tiki. Check them out. Yeah, and then you'll get one from Part-Time Married whenever I uh, log Red in. Stripe. Red Stripe. Dude, I, had a, I went to Jamaica for the Knobs wedding. Uh-huh. I know. And they had Red Stripe beer, beer mm -hmm. there. But they don't keep the beer on ice. It's just the kegs out in the open. It's just warm. It's warm and beer. so for the first day and a half, we drank that. But then after that, we just drank mixed drinks. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know what it was. The bartender made up whatever the drink was. He is <laughs> like, what is this called? He goes, I don't know, man. Do you like it? I said, yeah. He goes, then we'll call it good shit. I said, okay. <laughs> and so I go up to the bar. It's like, hey, let me get four good shits. He goes, done. <laughs> Lightning one again. I uh, truly haven't tried to. Uh, a sing tau i've been wanting to taste that's a good one um i don't know what eclipse there, is there's a beer uh i've had red stripe it's deep. red stripe's not bad um it's okay it is what it is there's a beer out of brazil that i really like that i'd have to look up the name i know what it is after the bottle it's, a, it's like a a dark it's like a black beer or whatever it's mm -hmm. really good um, what's your YouTube name? I don't get notified of everyone that subscribes. I don't know. Rapid uh, Dave, so something. he just he subscribed yeah. from Rapid Dave Streams. Yeah, and Strike Out Beer. And Strike Out Beer. And then you'll get one from Part Time Nerd. Yeah. You don't have to you don't later. have to sub bag, it doesn't matter. It's but, not that big of a deal. Um Rum Punch Fosters. I'll tell you what it's Australian for beer. When I went down to I was like I was in Puerto Rico and like the beer they talk about, like even for a light beer, this is what this was. They're like, we go down there, like, hey, what beer should we be drinking? They're like, Madaya Light. I'm like, okay, Madaya Light. And they're like, oh, yeah, it's the best. What was that that Costa Rican beer we used to drink out at the Imperial. den? Imperial. <laughs> Imperial. Oh, my it, God. It was $2 Imperials, <laughs> and we would go there, and they're like, hey, what's your deal? Oh, we got Imperials for $2. Foster's is not Australian. It is shit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I thought it was. Uh, they told hey, me Red, that's Foster's here, here in America. Yeah, they say it's not. That's Australian. It's beer. Australian for beer. Yeah, it's but Australian we beer. would go to this. It's a, 
it's a dive bar, right? Adela. It's just cheap dive bar. And we're like, what's it? What what do you have specials on? They're like, oh, we got an Imperial for two dollars a beer. Okay, we'll take four because there'd be four of us there, yeah. and then we would just keep them coming. And there's not a time we went out there, and we didn't drink more than what they had. Like, they didn't, yeah, they realized who we were. Like, oh, you guys they always the ran out. Like, we get there, like, hey, uh, we're out of Imperial. What do you mean you're out of Imperial? Well, you drink it all. You get thrown out of the bar for ordering a Foster's down there. That's Dude, interesting. That's I would interesting. love to go to Australia. I want to go to Australia and drink with Red and, and Marv. Makes an eclipse. Oh, hell fire. We need to check that out. Uh, so bottom, bottom half, Blue Moon. You're poured in a glass is Blue Moon, Belgium, Wheat, and the top half is Guinness. So it makes an eclipse. Hence the name Eclipse. Okay. Uh, Jason, me and my buddies would drink oil cans of Foster's back in the day. You got those elephant legs. They're That's big. what they call them out there at uh, Brutal. Yeah, the elephant big. legs. Yeah. Um, let's talk about Cosby. All right, let's knock it out. We got to get it out of the way, anyways. Yeah. So tell tell us what happened today. So it was released at sometime in the afternoon, about like one or two o'clock. Bill Cosby was released from prison. He's, he was in for a couple years already. And if you read the story, you understood it as this. Medell is good beer. Uh, Medell is okay. He was released because he had an agreement with a previous proc or prosecutor and a settlement. From what I understand, the woman and him testifying as well He pretty much admitted it. either he admitted some misconduct or something like that. And I think there was like a $3 million payout. And he, I mean, you enter an agreement and you can't be prosecuted later. Well, he was prosecuted later. That's where it brought it around. And he got thrown in prison. He's been in prison for, like I said, over a couple of years. And a high a court, a high court in Philadelphia, if I'm not mistaken, today. Moosehead sucks. Moosehead is not great. It's awful. Yeah. It's I mean, it's good Canadian beer, but how no, good is not. Canadian beer? No, it's not good Canadian. No, Molson's good Canadian Molson's beer. Moosehead sucks. Labat's not bad. All right. So, anyways, he got released. And now he's out. Like I was like, the pudding pops on the loose, baby. Here we go. Do they still have Joel pudding pops? I don't know. I, I was going to tell you to pick some up. I don't know. My whole thing is almost picked up some natty light. Pops. You have people on just like anything else. Everyone is divided on every single subject that we've ever had. It's either. Oh, thank God. This guy is free for all these blah, 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 blah. Or this guy, you know, the criminals are with the criminals and blah, 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 blah. It just goes both ways. It's it, seriously, it, it's, it's nauseating at the level of separation that we've made here in America. It's 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 so annoying. America. But let me tell you this. If he entered an agreement with a prosecutor back in 05, did you say 05? Uh, 2005 in Pennsylvania. 05. Yeah. And he paid out money. Civil suit. Uh, for a civil suit. And that in that civil suit said, no, you Francis. cannot pr uh, prosecute him again for this crime. Or any of the crimes. Because at the time, he admitted to not just that. But a lot of other yeah. things, and he he straight up admitted what he did. Hey, no, uh, I gave her Nyquil and Quaaludes so she would pass out, and I took advantage of her. Yeah. Uh, I don't agree with least because does it show if a woman or man gets sexually assaulted? It's he, and, he and already... that's the thing. It you had all these lawyers commenting. It, by the letter of the law, yes, he should be out. Did they agree with it? Did they like it? No, none of them liked it. But it is what it is. And at this point in time, he's 83 years old. It's a previous case that he paid, you know, civil suit to. If not, they should have just went to, to, to criminal court and and brought this trial about. But they went about it the different way. And as him entering the agreement, it was hey. I'm going to pay $3 million and this is done. And then it was brought up back when he was brought back into court by the same damn guy too. If I'm not mistaken, 
He's well, now been promoted. So they talked about like so the original um prosecutor who brought this up, mm -hmm. he didn't finish the original trial. And another prosecutor from Pennsylvania finished it. Mm -hmm. But because they had already agreed to this, he couldn't pursue anything else. Right. Listen, this is part of the prosecution's uh you know, if you're gonna attack some if you're gonna go if you're gonna go after somebody, hey, how about this? Make sure that you haven't got into a previous agreement with somebody to get information and to get a conviction out of them and to get three million dollars out of somebody. I'm not saying what he did was wrong or right or anything. I'm saying well, the, what he did was wrong. The but shit here's he, the thing the shit he pulled you, back then was terrible. You had people in a civil suit and they're like, Look, okay, they where they went to court, it didn't go through, so they went to the civil suit mm -hmm. and they said, Okay, let's do this. Hey, we're gonna pay you three million. Well, if you're gonna pay me three million, they were probably asking for more. So if you're just gonna give me three million, I want you to admit to what you did. I want you to go out there and say did you ever admit it? I yes, no, he did. He did back then? Yes. Okay. In 2005, he admitted. Because I know the new one when he got uh, rang up. Because and he's like, when, when everything came out, those. like that all happened, mm -hmm. and then it was kind of whatever. And then when the whole uh Me Too movement came out, Hannibal Burris He called him. That's how all the shit is started. the one who called him out. Yeah. You know, and yeah. it, it, just in case you don't know, Hannibal Burris is a he's an African American comedian who's just to point out it's someone else calling him out right yeah and he called him out and said look all this is going on look what bill cosby did yeah and then it came up and then a bunch of other people who weren't part of that civil suit came out and said yeah no this happened to me this happened to me this happened to me but then he admitted all that during the 2005 trial oh, okay now if someone who wasn't part of that trial came out and press charges, they could get it going again. Um, but at this point in time, come, he's come try some uh, peanut butter whiskey. Eighty three years old. So, yeah, Lizzie, I, come have a like I said, swig of whiskey. If he, if he, if he already sell, settled everything and it was over and done with, that's nothing. Like it's over, right? I mean, he now you had to have new people come out. Yep. New people had to say something. There you go. The rest of that. There you go, babe. Uh, not really. I mean, are you judging us? Yeah. Okay. Then, yeah. yes, we did. Have a sip. <laughs> so that's that's where we lie on this. And when it came out, I was like, oh, my God, he's out. He's out. And I was like, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was crazy, like, seeing it. But then again, listen. It is if, delicious, Jason. If you go, is the S. If you go through and you admit this or pay this or whatever in a previous trial and then yet it's brought up again in another trial that lands your ass in prison that's a problem to me that's where i have a problem with it um it's not the fact that he yeah did this. phoenix is going to be in the finals they're up 130 to 102 with 50 seconds left beating the shit out of them uh, yeah. chris paul is going to be in the final you know what give me the sons to win the championship oh sure i'm all in yeah, it's it's delicious, it like dude. It's yeah. I don't I don't got the jelly, but I got the peanut butter. <laughs> but that's my thing. I you know if if you're like, oh, he shouldn't be released or he shouldn't be us. Listen, this is this it's is Fat Albert. This is something else that happened before. This isn't what's going on at his recent trial and all that kind of stuff. And uh, let me tell you something. If you were in the same position where you you know say you squash something with money. Uh, you decide to settle and 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 whatnot. You should. He went to print. He's like, I'm not apologizing for shit. I'm not. I'm not showing remorse. I don't get. You know, I already because in his head, he's like, I've already fucking paid for this. I already. You know, I I gave away money. I feel. You know, so many. This goes back all the way to 1964. Like, he started. How far are you want to go back for someone? Oh, hold on. Hold on. How far he, do you want to go back? He, he I'm not on his side. No. I'm just saying. He started in 1964. Uh -huh. Drugging all these women? He was drugging and raping women back in 1964. Beat their ass by 27 he had, points. I want to tell you right now. He has a stand-up routine. 
about oh. him drugging women. Yeah. No, I know. And up until about two to three years before he was put in prison, he was still doing it. Still doing the routine? No, no. Still doing the, hey, uh, Suns are in the finals. They are the first team in the finals. We'll see who follows them. You have the Falcons and the Bucks tied at two two games apiece. I'm glad LA didn't make it in. Um, They're like the, the, the most. The Clippers? Yeah, LA. Well, most- you have LA Lakers and Clippers. LA Lakers okay. aren't in the playoffs. Uh, not now. Okay. And neither are the Clippers. Clippers are out too. They're just such I don't know, man. I like Rondo, I guess, but yeah, no, George you Paul's don't. a fucking no one likes Rondo. But Ty Lue, you- I had dinner next to him one night. Oh yeah? Out in Vegas. According to a lot of people, he's the best coach in the NBA. I don't think that's accurate. He's but, not. That's fine. but up until about a couple of years before he got hey, put in Bills? prison. Um, no, Chauncey's going to be the next coach of the 76ers. I saw that. Chauncey, but, 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 Billups. And they were talking about his like rape allegations all Back of a in the 90s. Yeah. Like someone had to be but, cut off from asking more questions about but, it. Like it's crazy. <laughs> Okay, so he, punk he, ass go, yeah, f those Clippers, f them. Look, hey, I don't. I you don't, know what? Take that kid from uh, what's that damn movie? Uh, cool Runnings. Get him the fuck out of here. If we enough. in Jamaica, we got a bobsled team. Yeah, get him out of here. You talking about John Candy? <laughs> Not John Candy's fat ass. The one with the braid, the the braids that were like Dougie talking. Fresh. He wouldn't shut the fuck up. The Dougie the whole, Fresh. What are you talking? Are you shut up. Dougie Fresh is one uh, of the guys like Money Sanka. Ne- you dead man? No man, yeah. I'm not dead. Money never makes it better, and that's actually something else that like I want to talk about. Like I don't, I don't have time this week for it, but like it seems like every single time there's something like Kobe Bryant's ex wife was sitting there suing someone, and I'm like, you already like you're very wealthy. What's this money going for? Why would you sue like the helicopter uh, helicopter company? And then there was someone else that was like suing. Oh, uh, Skaggs. Boss Skaggs? T- Tyler Skaggs from uh, oh. the Angels. Oh, yeah. You want to fam- talk about that today. His family sitting there suing the goddamn Angels about, like, wrongful whatever. And, like, But how much money does his family really have? I don't give a shit. But it, how is it a wrongful? Like, you, you want the Angels to watch over his ass like he's a fucking toddler? But- how about have some ownership about what the hell is going on? He, he is, It was obviously, like, drug abuse and things like that. It's like, But what if it was a situation where, like, he's going through something, right? And they are just throwing drugs and stuff at him. Like you don't. The angels are throwing drugs at people. Maybe. <laughs> All right. We're done with this. one. No, but seriously, like how many times have you heard from like X players? I'm about to wrap you up. We got 15 minutes and it's 10 minutes till 11. So, but how many times have you heard about players who were like, Hey, I was hurt, I was injured, and they just said, let's do this, 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 and this, right? Or, like, you not even talk about, like, today, but, like, like talk Kobe. about, like, Kobe's earlier. Like in, like, you know, uh, you know, he's, like, in Utah. He's like, oh, my God, they threw so much ass. I mean, I didn't know what to do. Okay, cool. All right. Don't you hit that fucking button. Kill it. You better bring something good. I have all kinds of things written down here. 15 minutes. That's what you got. Raytown, Missouri. Where let's let's talk about so starting next week on Twitch, we have a is it a community goal? Yeah. So community goal, uh where so on Twitch you get points. Correct for watching. So every was it like 10 minutes you get 10 points or something like that. Yeah, like, something like that. Like maybe an hour where you get like 30 or, you know, 40 and then every points. server many minutes you, you get a bonus. Yeah. And you click on the little green thing and you get points. Mm-hmm. Um, you can use the points to get a um, Rapid Dave Hates, Alan Loves, mm-hmm. Take a Drink, ha- um, Hashtag Lizzie, Hashtag for Lizzie. A poor man loses $100 that hurts. Rich man loses 8 mil but still has millions left. Doesn't hurt. Maybe it does. But 
you've got all that. And what we're going to do starting next week, we're going to have a community goal where you can pair all your points together for a 30 day period. Mm -hmm. And if we hit, I think it's something like 50,000 points or maybe more. We'll see what it is. Whatever the goal is. Yeah. We'll figure out out what the goal is. But when we hit that goal, we we have decided that we will do a hashtag for Lizzie. Hashtag for Lizzie all day, every day. Mm -hmm. We will do a show where you guys control the show. And by you guys, I mean all the listeners, all the viewers. You guys will, we will come to the show. And no, old school, you have not had too many. Maybe you need one more. I have another. <laughs> or the worst. Um, but you guys will run the show. And by you guys, I mean everybody who watches the show, everyone who follows the show. And we will set up a thing where, hey, guys, reach out to. Reach out to because we will have someone um, host that show. More than likely, Ryan Francis. If he's not eligible, uh, Green Man, maybe Integral Lizzie. Somebody, somebody will run that show. Yeah, and we will sit there and have zero prep for the show, mm-hmm. and the person hosting it, Ryan, Lizzie, Dylan, whoever. We'll say, hey guys, tell us your thoughts on this. And then we'll talk about it. Sure. And we'll talk about it for a while, and then we're done with that. What's the next topic? And that's what we will do for the strikeout beer show and the late night beer review. So for both shows, you guys run the show, you guys run the topics. We will do zero prep for the show. It will just be whatever you guys come up with. And then maybe he's like, hey. What do you guys want to talk about right now? And it's not something that he pulled before. It's just someone comments right now and we talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll have that going starting next next show. So by next show, I literally mean like if Reverend David decides to have a show tomorrow for Strikeout Beer. I might. That will happen. Um, we're talking about doing a Friday afternoon show. Uh, while we're both on lunch at work, where we just ain't, we're gonna go live and we'll talk about whatever. That's what we'll do, and that will start the points for it and stuff like that. And once we hit them all, you guys run the show. There you go. Because that was the I think that was the number one thing pulled out. We threw it out to everyone last week, and we threw out several different topics or suggestions. And I think that was the number one thing that came across. Uh, glad I came across you guys. You guys are rad. Y'all have a sick setup too. Thank you so much, beers with Tiki. Appreciate it, brother. We're gonna check you out too. On uh, uh, are you just on YouTube? Or are you YouTube? Yeah, we're gonna check you out on YouTube and wherever. Mm. Yeah. You ready? Um. Yeah. Anything else you want to talk about? Let's go, son. All right, guys. Hey, we'll do it next time then. Who are we raiding? I let's raid. If you're on Twitch, let's raid the channel. Say what's up to somebody. Yeah, just on YouTube. All right, man. We'll check you out on YouTube. Hey, it's Merc. Let's go to Merc. Uh, oh, yes. 100%. We're raiding Merc. Hey, guys, if you're on uh, Twitch, stay with us. We're going to raid Merc. Just say hi. Say, say Strikeout hey, Beer took you. Just Strikeout Beer so raid. You. There you go. Hey, thank you so much, Beers with Tiki. Have a good night. L Stud. What's up? Beer raid. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. We've had a great time tonight. Um, might have a show on Friday afternoon. Make sure you have those notifications set up wherever you listen to us at Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. Old, mm. old school. Was hey, it? old school. Beers with Tiki. Love you, brother. Beers with Tiki. Love you. Thanks you for checking amazing. us out tonight. Cheers. JL Stud. Guys, get ready. Coming up soon. Team Having Fun podcast. Make sure you're following us on all of our avenues. Um, Strike Out Beer, Rapid Dave Streams, Part Time Nerd, Team Having Fun, 
it's going to be a good podcast. We'll have fun. But you know what, guys? Thank you all so much. As always, I'm Alan. I'm Rapid Dave. We'll check you guys later. Deuces. Thanks for listening to Strikeout Beer. It was a great episode. Wait, there's no more?